Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I just want to do an energy forecast. I want to talk about how the energy has developed in the last days. Um, more, It's more of an energy update because I want to talk about the full moon that we have now in Libra. And what does all of this mean for us? I also want to talk a little bit about the eclipses that are coming up in May and what that will bring us and how it is that we need to move forward. So very often these uh, videos that I do for you, which are the energy forecasts, are channeled. Sometimes, you know, the messages are channeled before and I write them down and I kind of read them out to you. Um, but but most of the time they just kind of channeled um, like that. So I might get a kind of um, message like during the week or, the you know, preceding the video, which kind of urges me to do the, these type of videos. And um, it's usually some kind of hints that are being dropped about the energy as they come forward. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is that um, this moon or this energy as we are in right now, it really gives you an opportunity to work with any kind of mother issues that you might have. So any kind of issues that you might have with a caregiver that was a female uh, influence in your life or any kind of a relationship with somebody who represented somebody like a mother or some kind of nurturing influence in your life where you might have had some kind of difficulties um, in, in the past. So in the past, it might be over many years, but I think uh, especially in the past, maybe beginning of November or even as, um, as recent as the last week. So for those of you who are having difficulties, if there has been a situation where your mom or somebody with who is similar to your mom has told you something or said something or behaved in a way that you felt was unforgivable, well, now is the time to kind of work with that and to be able to release that and to to forgive. So I feel like, um, you know, for those of you who have um, quite sore relationships with your mothers, now is the time to be able to, to work with that and to be able to heal that relationship because this energy, as we have it right now, really supports a maternal um, nurturing healing and um, I think that it you will kind of get more further along with your relationship at this moment if you were to choose to 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 try to reach out, try to heal that, or even just you know in your heart try to forgive uh, some things that might have gone wrong in the past or went up to your expectation. All right, so that's the first point. The second uh, point is that this is still a wonderful time to manifest. Um, it's an amazing time, time in terms of being productive, in terms of being financially rewarded, in terms of healing oneself, going inward and really just searching and healing any old wounds that might still be there, releasing. It's also a good time of releasing. And you might have found that in the last few weeks, it's been a huge releasing time for you. And there's been a lot of that kind of thing. But that kind of energy is still continuing, but in a different way, in a way that is far more gentle right now. So you can work with, um, you know, cutting ties, uh, releasing, um, you know, just kind of letting go of influences that you no longer need in your life or no longer desire. And also um, sort of working and healing those relationships and the influences that it had in your life until now. So that is the second point. Um, the third point is that um, this this time, oh yes, it's also very, very good for financial, being financially rewarded or um, being rewarded in a way where it's not actually money that's coming your way, but perhaps somebody's offered to teach you something for free or perhaps somebody has given you uh, a freebie uh, or something that's quite valuable to you or considered fairly valuable, uh, which you might not have been able to afford or which you didn't want to spend your money on and this might come your way as a gift. So look out for that and if you uh, if you want to, you can also just put out an energy that brings that in. It's very likely for that kind of thing to happen between now and I would say the end of April, also beginning of May. Uh, for some of you who would have encountered quite a lot of grief in the last uh, few months, especially within this last year because of the, the pandemic and all of that, um, now is a time in which you might find that uh, it's easier to heal those that those wounds. It's easier to to work with that grief, and the grief might be um, 
it might be a bit lighter or it might be a bit easier to go through this process and also to be able to let go in that way to be able to let go of people who have passed on and to be able to be at peace with that as well so another influence of this energy right now is also being able to make headway or forward movement quite quickly so if you've been studying or if you've been doing some kind of course or if you've been planning on doing something like that now is a really good time to be able to embark upon something like this i would say end of may beginning of april uh, is a really good time to be able to start with something like this and then to be able to move very quickly through it so it's not like you'll be dragging your feet or you'll be it'll be a struggle it won't be an uphill struggle it'll actually be something that will kind of go along quite quickly it'll be accelerated so whatever kind of studies or um, pathways some kind of internship or something like this uh, can be accelerated and you can learn quite a lot in this time and it would be very valuable for you later on as well and um, another energy that uh, characterizes this space and this this full moon that's coming up in Libra is really about being able to um, be diplomatic or be be quite uh, easy with people to be able to uh, heal rifts that have been caused so if you've been feeling quite a lot of agitation or anger or even rage or even just or irritation uh, towards somebody in the last few weeks or I would say from about February till now there would have been that energy that would have been underlying and some of you might have felt that way well then this time as we go forward is a time where you can have discussions uh, about it or try to heal that or try to work with that or it simply falls away when you're no longer feeling that rage or or upset or even anxiety around uh, that kind of stuff so it's a really nice time you know in terms of how to go forward so what are the difficult um, bits right now well I feel that they can be uh, like overspending or, or just overindulgence and and that could have some adverse effects so it's important to look out for that and try not to overdo it so also do things in moderation so if you're planning to do something like a trip or something over the Easter weekend then don't go all out you know reserve a little bit for yourself you need to have some kind of um, backup plans or to have some kind of other plan where you'd be able to rest for some of that time or have some some contingency basically whether it's in terms of of having some money or having another plan or having other accommodation or having other transport etc so that as you go ahead in the next few weeks um is also indicated I think also it could be quite a lot of pressure because there's so many different energies coming up and there's so much of different support around uh, these the, around different areas of your life you might find yourself trying to do too much uh, trying to uh, you know kind of um, overdo it basically and that could learn to lead to sorry a kind of burnout later on in April and so it's important to to look out for that and then I think that uh, you know as we go ahead in terms of relationships it can be um, a really interesting time to observe the developments in the relationship to be able to understand your partner a little bit better to be able to recognize who that person really is and see them in a different light and just to be able to hold back and not jump into something but to be able to look hold back and observe because you're going to find that that person can or your partners can show a lot if um they don't need to react or respond to something they will show a lot of themselves within the next eight weeks i would say or 10 weeks and so it's interesting it's an interesting time in terms of relationships as well to be able to to identify and observe and to see and to learn more about your your partner then we come to this um this eclipse at the end of may and i want to mention it a little bit now because i think that for some of you it might be worth preparing for that so at the end of May you may find that you might if you want to do something if you've been planning to do something at the end of May it may not be possible to do it any longer so it's it's it will be worth it to try to do it sometime at the early part of May or around the second week or the third week of May preferably the second week because as you come to the end of May some opportunities may be taken away from you um, I think this 
is really a lot about um, around travel or around trying to uh, do something new so you know enrolling in a course then or enrolling in some kind of uh, activity then what it what is a good what it brings what um, is a good thing is that it brings you a chance to be able to review and to uh, look at something that's older or something that needs to to be worked on or finished so if there's an, a, an old project that needs to be finished it gives you a few weeks uh, at the end of may uh, well i would say it starts at the end of may and then gives you a few weeks in june to be able to finish that or to be able to close things up to be able to see old friends to be able to uh, catch up with people who you who are significant in your life but you haven't been able to catch up with or or people who served a significant role in the past but are no longer as significant in the moment and so june is going to be a time in which you can really go ahead and go deeper get in contact with all the other people that you haven't been in touch with for a long time and actually just move ahead and and make some progress in, in some things that you needed to complete i think that um june july august it can prove to be quite topsy-turvy, it can prove to be quite challenging and so it's important to be able to uh, to be aware of that as you're making plans to do things, as you um, are, you know working with things, it can feel like a bit of an uphill struggle. So if you look at it like the way it is right now, it's like you're going downhill, like you're running downhill and then as you get to the end of May um, and then you start heading up June, it's like you're going uphill again and that goes on till about August, I would say mid-August till September. So it's important to be able to not just enjoy this time but to be able to build up the momentum and to be able to save something, save some of that energy, save some of that, um, that, that store some of that um, and, and, and also prepare for some of what will come in uh, so save some of what you have now and then prepare for what you will will come in june july and and, and august and i think that uh, you know june i think is the worst time for that but it's not such a bad month or anything it can actually be a really productive month it can be really good if you want to finish something and if you want to I apologize for the sound that's my fridge there um but uh let me just put it off uh, so I'm back again but yeah it's just to be able to work with some of the energy that you have in June the best thing to do with it would be to do, finish all things to be able to go through stuff if you've got a lot of garbage and not garbage but a lot of clutter in your life or a lot of stuff that you need to go through just to be able to go through paperwork to be able to do things like your taxes to take care of things like licenses or um, just admin a lot of admin or bureaucracy great time june is a great time to be able to to do that kind of stuff uh, as well so it's not actually you know a bad time but i would say that that good run that you have now uh that's actually begun already and it might have begun in quite a, a difficult way for some of you it might have begun in quite a a, a hard way um a, a couple of weeks ago but nevertheless it's going to be easier as you go ahead and then suddenly you know at the end of may it comes that energy is kind of pulled away and then you're left with this um this harder energy and trying to work with all of that stuff and so now's the time to kind of like to really just relish what you have available um, I mentioned this in the Oracle card reading, which um, I hope will be uploaded before <laughs> I upload this. But basically, there is an energy of, you know, um, um, a magnifying of thoughts. So just being able to have a thought and then being able to uh, bring that into reality. Um, yeah, to to be able to have thought and to be able to bring that into reality in a way that is almost instantaneous or just to have a thought and like a day or two before and then have it manifest um, uh, very shortly. So that is also an energy that we're experiencing right now. And that is something that uh, is really relevant to, to many people's lives. And so the warning there is not to focus on anything negative because that one thought has so much power right now and can bring into bring so much more into to to being so there is more to this and um i think that um it has to do with being more awakened um it has to do with being awakened with regard to what is justified and what is not justified to be able to see where um there is um a silencing 
of um, thought and um, and um, where there is censorship in a way. And so I think that it's important to to also look at those things to be able to be more aware of that. I think the awareness creates a different kind of energy and a different momentum, which in fact impacts that uh, in a in a positive way ultimately for all. And um, yeah, this isn't political or anything like that. There's uh, the silencing that's occurring right now in the world uh, towards countries and towards individuals and towards parties and 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 all that. It's very much a universal silencing and um, uh, trying to harness a particular energy uh, and you know the collective energy. So it's important to not just um, bow down to that. It's important to be aware of it. You know, even if you are being forced to bow down to it, but be aware of it because that awareness creates uh, an energy of its own as well. So um, for those of you who know, who know what I'm talking about, well. Um, yeah, that's good. If you, if you would like for me to discuss more of these type of issues um, in greater depth and detail, let me know and I would consider doing a kind of Patreon um, thing where we'd just discuss that uh, outside of this channel. I could actually, you know, discuss all of this, but not really on this channel, but in a, in a different different space so do let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in that and other than that as far as news is concerned for the channel i have actually uh finally recorded some pick a card readings and i've just got to edit them and i'll start uploading them as soon as uh, as possible there is so much more with regard to this energy uh forecast and i feel like i i could go on for quite a while but uh i think that I, I'm going to leave it here for the moment and then I will do another update at the new moon so that it's not like way uh, too much of information. But if you want to understand what's really been going on, then go back a little bit and look at the energy forecasts as they were in in the last few months, you know, and like starting in January or even go back as far as the end of 2019 because that is when I started talking about uh, a lot of this. In the beginning of last year around um, March, April, a lot of in, important information in there as well. And then, you know, you kind of understand how things are moving and, and where things are going to. Sometimes I'm quite specific about what's actually going on right now, but very often I'm talking about things in a, you know, in a bigger scheme and, and about how things work generally. So, um, yeah, it is, it is a very interesting time. It is an interesting time for people to come together with their tribe with people who are like-minded, with people who are um, resonating with them. And I urge you to do so because the energies as we come into it later on in the next year uh, and so is very much an energy of feeling very alone and not understood and um, having a sense of having an injustice served upon you. And so I think that... Um, that it's very important right now to be able to reach out to people who are like-minded and to be able to connect with them and, and create those bonds, uh, those strong bonds, so that um, we can weather what will come our way. You know, I think that the next decade uh, has many more surprises and um, yeah, a lot of things that jump out of the box, you know. It's like a Pandora's box has been opened. And it won't be until the end of the decade that we will be relieved from some of these things. So I think that it's important to be able to uh, find the support that you need in your lives uh, as we go along and to be able to surround yourself with that. And yeah, but I'll talk more about those things as at a later stage when it becomes more cute. <laughs> and in the moment, we'll just enjoy this wonderful energy that we have right now that's allowing us to make real headway and to be able to change the way things are and to be able to harness our own energy and make things happen very easily. All right. Uh, write to me down below let me know how it's going for you let me know what you're dealing with and what 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 has been going on in your lives and uh yeah and keep in touch all right so sending you much love and blessings abound from kismet rising